So where are these newlyweds now? I can't just keep hoping things are going to be better. I'm going to do something. I can't go on like this. How are you doing, Dad? Could be better. Sheila's back, I see. Yeah, she got back last night. Not a happy homecoming? No, no, actually we had another argument, as if I needed the stress. I have a big decision to make, Ridge. A pretty important decision to make. It's come down to that? Ending the marriage? Ridge, I don't even know Sheila anymore. I know her less every day. And there's so much tension between us. When I compare this marriage to, uh, to your marriage with Mother, you two are one hell of a team. Yes, I know. Well, look, there's no point in uh, getting into the past now, is there? Now we've got to focus on the future. And that means this showing. So here's my latest contribution. Any time, Dad. Urgent. Important. ASAP. I don't have time for this. My whole life is falling apart here. First Scott turns me away, and now Eric, oh, he tells me he wants a divorce. Why? God, why is this happening to me? Because you deserve it. How long have you been standing there? I guess I missed the bravado performance. But the last line was compelling. Look, I'm really very busy, Stephanie. Why is this happening to me? You know damn well why it's happening to you. You just don't want to admit it to yourself. My marriage is none of your business. Your husband doesn't seem to think so. He talks about it daily with me. I'm not going to deny my husband and I have problems. There's only one problem, Sheila, you. A marriage takes two people, Stephanie. Yes, it does. And now that you're back, maybe you'll have a moment or two for Eric. What was obviously so important in Genoa City, more important than Eric? You're making too much out of this. Who did you have to go and see? Why did you have to go? I don't have to explain myself to you. No. But if you don't, it certainly raises questions, doesn't it? Your suspicions are not my concern. They are Eric's suspicions now as well. Oh, yes, yes, it's very true. They are, and you planted them. You're nothing more than a homewrecker, Stephanie. A common tramp that just wants to break up a marriage. You have no class. You're a frustrated rich bitch that just wants to make damn sure I'm as miserable as you are. <laughs> I wrecked your marriage? You couldn't keep your husband happy. I didn't have anything to do with that. Oh, and how did we ever have a chance of happiness with you and your entire family plotting against us, Stephanie? We were protecting him. From his wife. The one woman that really loves him. The only thing you love is money and power. And you'll do anything, anything to get that. You've shown that to everyone, including Eric. Your marriage is over. No, it's not. I've worked too hard to lose Eric now. There will not be a divorce. That's not going to happen, Stephanie, because I won't. Are you busy? Mother, it goes without saying. You and your father are working like madmen. Uh, this showing may just drive us both crazy. Unless Sheila does first. Have you talked to Dad about that? Yes, and I think he's about at the end of his rope. Yeah, well, maybe he'll use it to hang his marriage. I think she's desperate, too, though. Frankly, I don't know how he's stuck with it this long. You know, when I think about it, and all the things that she's done to him. These are wonderful, by the way. I could kill her. You never really felt like she could fool Dad forever, did you? Oh, I don't know. I was beginning to wonder. She's pretty good. I think we got very lucky when Brooke offered her the job as her assistant. Why is that lucky? Because she showed her true colors. 
What do you think she's after? Money, power, prestige, all those things. Yeah, but she had all that married to Dad. Obviously, it wasn't enough, was it? And now I hope she ends up with nothing. Absolutely nothing. You really think you'll go through with this? Oh, I think he's resigned to the idea of a divorce. What if Dad still loves her? Honey, sometimes love isn't enough. We were married for 30 years, and we still ended up with a divorce. Yeah, he was talking about that today. Our divorce? Actually, he was reminiscing about your marriage. Oh, well, I guess that's not really so surprising, is it? I mean, we had a lot of wonderful years. We had some very hard times, but... You know, I always thought we had everything to look forward to. Now he thinks it's all behind him, though. Well, he's got to stop that, and he's got to see beyond this divorce. He's just so damn frustrated because he feels like this was supposed to be his last marriage. Well, it may very well be if we don't get him back on his feet. And he's still having problems. The chest pains? No, I don't think so. But all you have to do is look at him. He's not well. well. I know he's not sleeping. He's not eating well. I keep trying to tell him to go home and get some rest, but he won't do it. Well, I suppose it's because he doesn't want to go there because Sheila's there. You know, once he gets Sheila out of his life, he's going to be fine. It's just that he's going to have to do it. He's going to have to go through with a divorce. 